here I am at the continental divide between Europe and Eurasia. Which is located above a lava flow near Akeri, Iceland. Okay. So watch as I take. Okay, we are apparently in the only place in the world, aside from here and other points along the fault line in Iceland, where we can physically walk on and bridge. the lava cave that this great divide is above. Sort of, what's it called? Be careful. Huh? Be careful. It's sort of what you would call locked in. Did you go all the way down there? Uh, I just went down to the bridge. Yeah. It's not that deep, it's just right there. Okay. I'm gonna go quickly. I don't think you'll be able to see much. Just be quiet. Just Inside a lava cave that splits the two continents of Eurasia. And Europe? Wait, am I saying it right? I might be saying it wrong. This cave has sort of been locked in, if you will. So Sides to go in
I didn't touch water, did you? I didn't pull that. Holy, very hot. Pulls it that side too. That side looks a little tight though. So then what you're saying is the tectonic plates just zigzag across. Like yeah, this is one section, yeah, but then yeah, there's like... One section. They just said it crossed to come from south to west to northeast. Okay. Okay, I think I, I remembered the wrong thing. So it's the Eurasian and the North American plate, right? Yeah. yeah. I was on the Eurasian and North American plates. I kept saying Eurasian and European plates, which makes no sense. <laughs> I realize now, but when you're in the middle of adventuring, you sometimes say the wrong thing.
Continental Divide was a special treat. Again, just to amend my vlogging, I was on the edge of the Eurasian and North American plates. I erroneously said European and Eurasian plates, which obviously makes no sense upon reflection. I'm just issuing my amendment. Now heading into something called Lake Myth Mythin, which I might lose connection for, but I'm alright with that for now. Okay. Look this way. Okay. One. No, I got it all. One, two, three. Iceland is the only country where you can cross the continental divides or tectonic plates on foot. I need to research further whether they mean any two tectonic plates or specifically the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates. I essentially just disseminate information that I'm told and <laughs> given the communication gaps with people. Sometimes I might say something that's erroneous. Or sometimes I make mistakes completely on my own by misunderstanding what's been said. Making things up like two plates essentially name the same thing. Iceland has been an interesting, I would say, up. I'm traveling to six different ports in Iceland, so just for an example of size with scale. Most people fly into Reykjavik, but I'm literally circumnavigating the entire country. In the process, I'm also seeing many of the scenic fjords because I'm traveling by cruise ship. Doing so, ships always have tail end of fjords. Another travel tip I've told people is that people sh really should consider cruising as a very efficient, effective, and oftentimes cheap way of traveling. People who fly directly into Reykjavik would then have to think about chartering something separately to see the fjords, whereas I have a reason. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're inside the Lyberton lake area or baths area. I'm trying to find myself an outside area to vlog, which I have found now. One second here. The mud baths. You can see the steam.